Hey guys, it's Laurie at ArdentDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you how to draw this vector. I've already done the tutorial for Illustrator and basically it's just a pen tool tutorial. So it's very similar except for the pen tool is just slightly different. So um, if, if, you, uh, if you haven't watched a pen tool tutorial, you really should because this is kind of advanced. So basically it's gonna be a lot of clicking and pulling. So, Got the pen tool, Just clicking and pulling. And the one thing that you need to know, like for example, right here, I've got a curve and I don't want it. So the thing about that is you press shift and L and you'll see we got a corner now. And that's kind of a pain in the butt. I wish it was a little bit more easier, like it is in Illustrator than having to reach over and do shift L all the time. Um, okay, so let's get started here. It's, uh, Right here where the green and the red, you see the red line here, the, where the green and the red line meet, you wanna make sure that it's smooth. Okay, so that's, and we and if it isn't, you know, you can always go back and edit these, these uh, nodes later. And right here, it's, uh, it's not gonna do me any good. It's just gonna make a terrible line. Control Z will undo that. Shift L, that's where we need it. And again, if you have to zoom in, do that. So green and red, they're kind of smooth. You see that? So again, Shift L. And because of that, I might actually be a little bit less detailed with this, but um, if you uh, if you want to, you can take your time, of course, and do that. I'm going to zoom in using control here. Shift L. Mousing over with the uh, uh, space bar. Oh, I lost my pen. Okay, so that's okay. We can click back on here. Not the end of the world. And you want to be detailed enough that people recognize this thing. And it's a very prominent um, prominent rock in Sedona, that's for sure. Uh, again, this image was found on Pixabay. Um, but I'm sure there's other images out there on different sites or whatever, or maybe you've gone and gotten your own images. Shift L. Moving over with the space bar.
and shift L again. Z. Okay, I think we're at the end here. We start to come down. There. We'll zoom out. to come back to the beginning well, let's see what's going on here I'll click and press enter all right let's see if we can color that in we can that's good the stroke off. I must have done something wrong here when I lost my pen tool. Okay, so uh, I'll get this out of the way. Let's see if I can merge this. Uh, path, union, there we go, that's fixed. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. We need to put this inside of a half circle or a circle, you know, whatever, whatever you're feeling. Uh, I'm gonna grab the circle, press Alt and Shift, or sorry, Alt and Control. And the F7 dropper tool, which is down here, dropper, F7 is the shortcut. And I'm gonna choose this mustard yellow color it's pretty cool black and yellow is very cool I'm gonna drop this to the bottom it's very showy so let's scale this thing down shift and control so we scale evenly let's see that look good in a circle too so let's grab the squares and rectangles tool and we'll click and drag a square now let's see if we can put the snaps on and find our center point that way if not we'll have to do uh, okay path object to path let's try that okay so we're gonna make two f7 we're gonna make two uh, squares press Control D to duplicate it press shift to select both press Control G to group them and then I'll drop them to the bottom so I can see the circle press shift to select the large rectangle or the grouped rectangle and then we're going to align them vertically and horizontally then we're gonna grab the large rectangle. We're gonna press on group right here, on group. We're gonna get rid of, uh, let's see, let's get rid of the bottom one. We'll delete it. Let's bring this one back to the top. Press shift and select it, both of them. And we'll go path and intersection. Now we have our shape. So that's pretty neat also, but um, I've kind of scaled it down quite a bit more. And, um, you know, you'll have to get some text and maybe some texture to make it pop a little bit. 
All right, actually, that kind of looked better big, didn't it? Okay, so I'm going to grab this circle. I'm going to control D to duplicate it. I'm actually going to bring the opacity on that a little bit down so I can see underneath of it and zoom in here. Um, something like that. That looks pretty good. So I'll press shift and then we'll go path and intersection again. And boom, we're in the, in the half circle. Okay, so that is how you can create this graphic. And like I said, to make something like this pop, you're going to want to use some sort of texture and some cool font. This one is, it's called Attriment, um, something that might be similar. Like this, this one you can get in the Adobe Type Kit, but um, something similar might be like Norwester or something like that, or whatever rug rugged um, Western font that you find. Anyway, that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching.